What is up you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to open and close a door in Unreal Engine 5. So what I have here is the third person template and we are simply going to want to go to starter content and the props to grab our door. So once you have the door, just drag it to whatever location is convenient for you. For this, I'm just going to simply do it right here in the content folder just to give you um, an example of like what's exactly going on. From here, right click and go to Blueprint Class and make this an actor and we will name this door. Once that's done, open your Blueprint Class, just drag it in here and then come down to your content folder and drag in the door. So when you do that, you can clearly see that the door has now been added to our viewport in our Blueprint Actor. From here, go to add and type in box collision. So basically what's happening is when the character enters this box, we will make it so that it activates and deactivates accordingly. So from there, we're just gonna wanna resize this a little bit. So just for this video, I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So that way we can just show our character walk it in there. That should be about good right there. Once that's done, scroll all the way down and where you see on component begin overlap click it now what we are going to do here before we go any farther is make sure that your box collision is not a child so click your box and drag it back onto your door and as you can tell it is not dropped down anymore and so it's on its own from there click other actor and drag out and type cast to whatever your character is. In this case, because it's the third person character, we're just casting to the third person character. From there, drag out and do a timeline. And we will name this uh, door. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give uh, the timeline for the animation for our door. So simply open the door, timeline, and go to add a full track. Uh, we will name this uh, door timeline. Do shift click and make sure that your time and your value is set to zero. And the reason we're doing that is because that's going to be our starting point. Come out a little farther and do this again, but change the and the value to one. And so basically within this time frame, our uh, rotation will be taking place. And you can uh, zoom to fit vertical and horizontal so you can see the timeline itself taking place. So once that's done, just click compile and we will go back to our event graph and make sure you click your door and drag it into the scene. And so now that that is done, you are going to want to make sure that you get your rotation location. So rotation. set rotation location so basically this right here set relative rotation that's going to be essential the r and the l are totally different things so if you do the location you're moving where it's at the rotation is the axis for which we're going to be moving it i've done that mistake a couple of times and it's it's not fun fixing <laughs> so from here we just connect it and right click and split the structure pin so now what we're going to do is we're going to go from our door timeline and we are going to multiply this. So what's happening is our timeline, we're going to be timesing our degrees and we're simply going to want our door to open 90 degrees and then we're just going to connect this in to our new rotation for Z. Now, if you compile this, you go to your map and you drop your blueprint in and we play you can see that when you walk up to the box collision and step into it the door opens but when you walk away the door does not close so let's fix that real quick now if you go back into your blueprint we are going to want to click the box collision and go down and where it says end the overlap 
I don't want to activate this. So basically when the character gets off the collision box, this is going to fire. So we're going to do literally the same thing. We are going to get our other actor and we're going to cast it to our character, whatever it may be. But instead of adding it to the play, we are doing the reverse process. So compile, go back and we play. When we walk up to the box collision, the door opens, and when we step off of it, the door closes. So let's do that again. It opens, and then it closes. 